when I was still in high school, we took a couple of long camping trips. We lived in Indiana, one trip to the southwestern states of America, the next year to the northwestern states. I just saw a lot of this world. It absolutely captured me. And so when I went to college, I signed up for a course in elementary geology. After about a month, I came home for a weekend. I sat at the supper table and announced that I was going to major in geology, get a PhD, and become a professor. Now, mind you, this was as a freshman in college. My father about dropped his teeth. But that's the way it happened. And so I just have an enormous feeling of, of love for this earth. I just love wherever I am. I don't care if it's beautiful, desolate, there's something interesting going on everywhere. And so the ge a geologist is basically an adventure seeker. And if you go to another continent, I can guarantee you're gonna have adventures. And I just wanna see as much of this earth as I can because there's just something interesting everywhere you go. And it surely helps to have a degree of understanding of how it, how it got to be that way. Uh, in my opinion, there are two kinds of science and two kinds of scientists. The first kind is the, is the, the type that everybody thinks of. It's the guy in a white coat. He's walking around in the lab, doing experiments. That scientist takes a little piece of nature, isolates it from everything else, does, manipulates it in real time, does it over and over repeatedly. That person is acting in an analytical manner, cutting things apart. And that would be chemistry, physics, biological science of the experimental type. The other type of scientists, and I am an example of that, and these would be geologists, uh, evolutionary biologists, astronomers. We realize that the object of our study was, is too big. I, the Earth is too big for me to to manipulate. It is too remote. I will never visit the center of the earth. It is too ancient. I wasn't there when it happened. And so what we see in geology is something almost in every case of something that's already happened. And we, we observe. We're snoopers. We are detectives. We're picking up on clues. We are putting stories together. So the objective of geology, and indeed of scientists in general, is to understand. We just want to understand. My father about dropped his teeth, but that's the way it happened.